In New at 6, the state of Indiana is expected to rest their case against Richard Allen by the end of this week. That's as this afternoon featured the most combative witness to take the stand so far. Way 15's Marcus Truscio is live at the Carroll County Courthouse with the latest. Marcus. Taylor, before lunch, we heard from Richard Allen, psychologist from Westville Correctional Facility, where he spent 13 months awaiting trial. She testified that on May 3rd, 2023, Richard Allen gave his most detailed confession we've heard in court so far. According to her records, he said he saw girls on the trail and followed them across the bridge. He mentioned doing something with his gun, then ordered the girls down the hill and across the creek. He said he wanted to sexually assault them, but didn't because he saw a van. Now remember that. And then he said he killed them and covered their bodies with branches, which is how they were ultimately found. Now this afternoon, the state called to the stand the man whose private drive runs along that creek. His name is Brad Weber, and he drove a van back in February 2017. He said him driving along the creek at that time where the girls went missing would align with him getting home from work. On cross-examination, defense attorney Andrew Baldwin told Weber that he didn't drive straight home. That's not what he told investigators back in 2017. Instead, he said he went to fix ATMs after work and then Weber denied that and said it may have been him dropping off a trailer quickly. And then Baldwin said that that he did that before work. That's what he told investigators back in 2017. That's when Weber got very almost angry and shouted in the courtroom in the loudest that we've heard so far. That's not correct. That's when Baldwin stopped his cross examination and handed a subpoena to Weber. Now we're expecting to have a long day in court tomorrow. We're told that it, hours of audio recordings will be played. And as you just heard, the state is expected to rest their case shortly after that. Then it's the defense turn to present their case to the jury. Live in Delphi, Marcus Truccio, Wayne 15 News.